Welcome everyone, you may be wondering how on earth can I get different wallpapers on my iPhone. With iOS 16, the lock screen and the home screen, that's going to be the same. However, actually there is a way to change that. So the first step is head over to the lock screen. You're then going to long press on the empty space and then you're going to tap on customize. So how Apple have done it is when you've set your lock screen wallpaper, if you want to change it, you need to create a brand new lock screen entirely, okay? That's the first thing. And so what that means is if you already had your home screen wallpaper set up, you would need to reset it up. It is not, you know, ergonomic, not really convenient, but that's how they've done it. So I want to change my wallpaper here. So in order to do that, you're going to slide to the left until you see the plus, and you're going to tap on the plus. So now you have the wallpaper and astronomy, the emoji, the collections, color, and you can also select your own wallpaper here if you would like to. So I'm going to just use the default ones. Let's not make this, you know, too complex. I'll select this dynamic wallpaper here. And you can see if you slide across, you will have different options for each wallpaper. And so I'm going to set this, I'm going to tap on add. Now, if you tap on set as wallpaper pair, this means you're going to get the same wallpaper with the lock screen and the home screen. I personally don't like that. So I'm going to tap on customize home screen. And now you can set a different wallpaper uh, for your home screen compared to the lock screen. So you have the original here, which is the original lock screen wallpaper. Do keep in mind, Apple have done it. So for example, the dynamic wallpaper, which is moving, it will stop moving when you go to the home screen, which is just really, you know, dumb. Same with the wallpaper, uh, lock, uh, wallpaper, it like, is animated and then it stops animating on the home screen. Apple, they just kind of built different, accidentally uh, uh, went out of that view. So let's go back in here, just keep that one in mind, all right? See, it's not gonna move. You can blur the original if you would like to. You can set a color, home screen wallpaper, a gradient. If you tap on a plus, it will allow you to customize this stuff, by the way. And then you can select your own photo. So if you want to have, let's say, you know, your lock screen be one wallpaper by Apple and the home screen be another wallpaper by Apple, you will need to, you know, go on the web and search up iOS 16 wallpapers and just save these ones, okay? So this is the uh, the moon, uh, the earth wallpaper, I call that a moon, <laughs> my, uh, my geography teacher, ooh, ooh. Anyway, uh, you can see, you also slide across to, you know, change the theme. You can pinch the crop as well. And now we'll tap on done. I'll tap on down again. And now when we use this lock screen here, we have the different home screen as well. So is this the coolest thing in the world? I mean, <laughs> well, it's just disappointing. Apple has made it so complicated. Back in my day, which was two days ago, you could set your own lock screen. You could set your own home screen without them being tied together. iOS 16 has changed that. So yeah, that's the, yeah, there you go. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.